When you load boxes into a truck, you are actually doing a volume problem. The truck is a rectangular prism, and the box is also a rectangular prism, also known as a right prism. This video looks at the volume of a rectangular prism. Here's our problem. How many boxes will fit in the truck? If the truck is 4.6 by 2.3 by 2.2 meters, and each box is 80 centimeters by 35 centimeters by 30 centimeters. There are two ways to solve this type of problem. One way is using formulas. The volume formula for a rectangular prism is length times width times height. If we fill in this formula, with the dimensions of the truck, we get 460 times 230 times 220. And the answer is 23,276,000 cubic centimeters. The volume of a box is 80 times 35 times 30, which is equal to 84,000 cubic centimeters. All we have to do is divide 23,276,000 by 84,000 and we can see that we should be able to fit 277.095 boxes in this truck. This answer is given after rounding off to the nearest thousandth. But if this were a real life situation, would you use formulas to solve it? Or is there another way? First, let's see how many boxes fit along the width of the back of the truck. six boxes fit, with a bit of space left over. Now, how many boxes can fit as we pile them towards the ceiling? Seven boxes fit, with some space left over. Finally, how many boxes fit along the length of the truck? Five boxes fit, with space left over. By doing the problem this way, we can see that only 210 boxes fit, unless we want to cut boxes into pieces, but we probably don't want to do that. Which is the better answer? This depends on the way the question is asked. The volume of the truck is how many times greater than the volume of the box? If the question is asked this way, the volume formula gives the more exact answer. What is the largest number of complete boxes that can be fit into this truck? If the question is asked this way, however, counting how many complete boxes fit along the length, width, and height of the truck gives the better answer. Try to be comfortable with both methods of solving volume problems involving right rectangular prisms.